It's a land that don't, no longer exists. And um, we just need to make sure that uh, we do everything that we can do to relieve them of any burdens, especially this financial burden, um, uh, as quickly as, uh, as possible. So I'm here to work with the, uh, uh, the city, the county, and everyone else to make sure that we provide that relief to these, uh, to these residents. Thank you, right. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, let me introduce our uh, chief of our L.A. County Fire Department, Tony Maroney. Tell us a little bit about what the role of our county fire has been. Yeah, absolutely. So good afternoon. I'm Anthony Maroney, M-A-R-R-O-N-E, County of Los Angeles Fire Department Chief. So our L.A. County fire units local to the peninsula here have been on scene since Saturday at about 1.30 when they came out and they identified the cracks that were starting to uh, uh, be, the, the cracks that were starting to occur in the different foundations of these 12 residences. So we are keeping an eye on the two residences, one at the top of the street and one at the bottom of the street uh, that have not moved and we're communicating every day with the homeowners there. But we do have our local battalion chief on scene. So they're monitoring the situation and the LA County Fire Department, along with our law enforcement partners, the LA County Sheriff's Department, will be here to assist the city of Rolling Hills Estates until this situation is eventually mitigated. And we don't know how long that's gonna take. We don't know how long that uh, these homes are gonna continue to move, uh, but we're just, at this time, it's just a, a holding pattern that we're in, waiting to see what the final determination is gonna be. 12 residences. No, not 12, we're not sliding. 12 are red tag. How many are actually like 10? 10, I think. I, I think all 12 actually are sliding. There's there's foundations that are sliding out from homes. They're cracked. Ten, I think there's only 10 that are actually sliding. 10 are actually sliding down the hill. I actually believe that the, the, the structure there, the number 29, or 27. Oh, that's that, that 29 is red tagged because there is some movement, although it doesn't appear to have any movement. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's, there's movement in areas that you can't see from the street here. What about the catastrophic falling? That's 10, right? Is there any designation? Yes. I, I think 10 have been lost, 12 have moved, and we're keeping a tab on the one house at the top of the street and the one house at the bottom of the street number 27 that has not moved. I don't know the exact number. I think it's number eight and six that have not moved. They're still inhabited. So we haven't requested that the homeowners move out yet because there's no there's no cracks in those structures. Thank you, Conan. Uh, I did uh, communicate with the governor. I texted the governor today. I uh, haven't heard back a response yet. So uh, I'm, I just wanted to make him aware of the situation. I even said if he was in anywhere in the area, I'd love for him to come by and see this for himself so, so he could understand the dramatic tragedy and disaster that these homeowners have suffered over the weekend. So I haven't heard back. This, this meeting is an opportunity for those residents who have been evacuated to uh, come together. They've all been uh, staying with relatives and friends. The Red Cross did offer to provide hotel vouchers, but everybody's kind of spread up around the other um, state and federal funding thing uh, in case that is a problem. Yeah. So, I'm, do we have an update on the geologist? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, we've heard, on, we've heard you know, yeah. people say it looks almost like a sinkhole as opposed to a landslide. Uh, we've heard, you know. We, we, have, we have given uh, the Homeowners Association a recommendation of four or five geologists. It's up to the HOA to hire the geologist, um, but I don't know if we have any updates because I do think some of the residents whose homes are not moving yet would also like uh, a little bit of a, a, an understanding. Is there anything they can do at this point to shore up for these homes? That